But what you see is that there's a little bit of gap between the knowledge economy, the technical side, and then the political economy, where the politicians are very strong. And I'll give you one example. Yeah. Forgive me if that doesn't sit well with you. It doesn't matter at all. We are listening. Yeah. And that is e levy. Yes. E levy provides one import one important case study of how government is at variance with the expert base in the economy. Uh -huh. Various economists, even C CSOs, private uh -huh. sector, have said all they could say about e levy. But sometimes it's as though somebody then wants to do it to demonstrate where power lies. Okay. Mm -hmm. And and what do we want to achieve out of that? E levy. Government should delete it. Government should delete it. They should delete it completely. You know It's been reduced uh, to one percent. How about that? So so that is you know when something is conceptually wrong. Okay. And, and it doesn't meet certain basic principles of taxation. Mm -hmm. People have issues with it, even if the rate is 0.1%. Okay. Now, but if you want to reduce it, and if you survey the market and various studies that have been done, you get a certain trend where people are converging around 0.5%. You okay. get it. Yeah. And below. You can, you, you can do it. A, a scan of the market, you will see that. Mm -hmm. And then you also see another convergence that people are reaching around the e levy at capping it. Okay. Now, so if the government won't, and that is what you do to win confidence of the market. So when your policy announcement aligns with expectation of the market, they pick on it mm -hmm. and confidence is generated. Now, if you do the sensitivity analysis at 0.5%, even with the 100% uh, exemption, chances are that you could rope in so many people. And with the volume expansion, you could actually offset the revenue losses you think you would, you would accommodate by reducing it from 1.5% to 0.5%. And the other thing also is that taxation is not a hammer. Okay. where you treat everybody else in the market as a nail. <laughs> Tax itself is an enabler. That is why Dubai and the rest build their countries actually by using tax-free measures, okay? Uh -huh. And all of that. So you need to manage the trade-off because you cannot tax your way out of poverty. It's never done anywhere. You cannot tax your way out of poverty. No, you cannot. Okay, so yeah. you need tax can be packaged as a form of investment. Dubai and the other that's how they did it. It can also be packaged as dividend to collect to be collected today. So it's about managing the trade-off. Okay. And then if you look at Ghana, and what, what is particularly concerning is that we are not an island. We are operating within the African continental free trade. Mm -hmm. So you are also looking at your tax measures and how that guarantees private sector competitiveness. So they will be able to compete uh, uh, within the African continental free trade. Since COVID came alone, we've introduced a number of taxes. COVID levy, mm -hmm. sanitation levy, and a whole of things. And then to make matters worse, government decided to treat uh, get fund, NHS, and the do as straight levies, meaning that even though businesses are paying, there is no option of recovery. What that does is to contribute directly to the high productive cost base of doing business. And because they decided to treat those ones as straight levies, that reduced our, our uh, standard VAT rate to about 12.5%. 12 12 now, if you compare that to our neighbors within Africa, then uh, you'll get the impression that our VAT rate is one of the lowest. And what that tells you is that you could actually increase the VAT rate. But it's actually not true. Even though the, the standard VAT rate average for Africa is 16% and ours was 12.5%, if you add those street levies, because to the consumer, 
the incidence of that tax on the consumer is actually more than the 12.5 percent close to uh, 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 19 percent now studies have shown that when your standard VAT rate is at 18 or so and you even increase it by one percentage point it becomes counterproductive and that's where we are headed we are already there Peace FM 104.3 Who to make target?